The conclusion of Seinfeld coincided with the passing of the legendary crooner Frank Sinatra, also known as Old Blue Eyes. Simultaneous to the broadcast of the series final, Sinatra experienced a heart attack. Tragically, his eldest daughter, Nancy, was watching the final episode and missed her father's death. The Final of Seinfeld On May 14, 1998, an unprecedented 76 million American viewers assembled in front of their television screens to witness the conclusion of the nine-season NBC sitcom, Seinfeld. Having followed the comedic escapades of Jerry, George, Elaine and Kramer for years, fans braced themselves for the final of the show about nothing. Leading up to the final, NBC was broadcasting reruns of the show's previous seasons in anticipation of the series final. While most viewers tuned in for the final, a substantial number found themselves captivated by the absurd and amusing antics of the Seinfeld gang during reruns, even though they had previously seen those episodes. One person who found herself in this situation was Nancy Sinatra, Frank Sinatra's eldest daughter. Sinatra has a heart attack. During the same evening as the Seinfeld series final, crooner Frank Sinatra experienced a heart attack at his Los Angeles residence. The 911 call for assistance was placed around the halfway mark of the episode. Emergency services promptly responded, dispatching an ambulance to Sinatra's home, reaching him within minutes. The roads were pretty much clear, likely because everyone was inside watching diligently as the four New Yorker stories were coming to an end. Sinatra was transported to Seba's Sinai Medical Hospital in Los Angeles, where his fourth wife, Barbara, and his manager and close friend, Tony Opedizano, had hurried to his bedside. Opedizano recounted that Sinatra remained calm and composed, showing no signs of fear or panic while in the hospital bed. He said Sinatra had resigned himself to having reached his end. His final words were, I'm losing, and he died in the hospital that night. He was 82 years old. Nancy was five blocks away. Sinatra's eldest daughter, Nancy, had arranged to visit her father that evening. Given their close proximity, just five blocks apart, such visits were likely routine and casual. Unfortunately, Nancy never reached her father's house as she was one of the 76 million American viewers anticipating the conclusion of the sitcom series. This decision would later be deemed her most regrettable mistake. Nancy did not know of her father's heart attack and only received the call that anything had happened after her father had passed. She did not get to see her father on his last living day and did not get to say goodbye, all because she was tuned into NBC. Not Sinatra's first heart attack. Sinatra's heart attack in 1998 wasn't his first. He had experienced one a year earlier in 1997. Following that incident, he had withdrawn himself from the public eye. Speculation about Sinatra's declining health circulated widely, fueled by rumors of bladder cancer and ongoing heart issues. His wife, Barbara, was vehement that Sinatra was in good health just a month before he suffered his second and fatal heart attack. In addition to physical ailments, Sinatra grappled with long-standing depression and other mental health issues. He was prescribed Elevil an antidepressant associated with significant side effects. Reports suggested that Sinatra may have overused this medication, leading some to believe he was battling Alzheimer's disease. Allegedly, he remained on these antidepressants for a period spanning 10 to 15 years. The intended length of time is usually 12 to 13 months. Some believe this contributed to his declining health in his later years. Nancy had a difficult time forgiving herself. Unsurprisingly, Nancy has shouldered immense weight from missing her father's passing. She has described it as her greatest sadness and deeply regrets being engrossed in sitcom reruns during that pivotal moment. She said, Now, I know that in order to live a happy life you're supposed to let go of your anger and move on, but I was five minutes down the road watching TV while my dad was dying. That's something I will never forget, let alone forgive. She did seemingly come to terms with it later, 
saying that the great moments they had together outweighed one final goodbye. Sinatra's widow, Barbara, passed away in 2017.